How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to change the fuel shutoff solenoid in a 7.3 stroke diesel. So you stick around for that. It's going to be a good time. And we, we got some little lessons learned that we did while we were actually changing it out. But I'll introduce you to Big and he's the one that's doing all the work. I'm just holding the camera. But anyway, let's get started on it. I want you guys to notice that I, I'm getting out these jumper cables and I'm using this ram to jump start this forward. I just... What is it? I'm using this ram to jump start this forward. Yeah. I think we got a bad battery. Sweet. We got tired of getting scored. We did paperwork. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Off market thing. Backwoods trick to know if you got a bad injector pump. If it won't start when it's hot, pour you some water on it, cool it off. Old bottle works good. I'm gonna get it on it. I literally just put this injector pump on here. drove about well between us we drove about 400 miles <laughs> yeah. oh lord 20 here for me yeah what you doing baby i am taking the cap off of my injector pump I figure out why it's not getting any fuel to the injectors the pump's not pumping yeah. this fuel shut off solenoid is up under this cap okay. seven three yep yeah, adia It's been a great motor. Drove it all over the country. Yeah. Well, south end of the country anyway. That's right. I've got another one. I think it's in the truck actually. Hold on. <laughs> You're a real mechanic when you carry a spare engine in your truck. Mm. What about that? You got That's an right. extra part. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if this one's any good, but we can try it. But this one right here is a piece of junk. Take it over here and swap them. If you notice, we're about 10 feet further this way. That's because I was like, man, listen, let's roll this thing down into the shade. So we got it a little closer to the shade now. It feel, feels a little better than that sun beating down on you. Mm -hmm. Some of the diagnosing that we've done here is he, he's got the batteries. He was showing 13 volts on his gauge inside, so that's no problem. We uh, checked the fuel coming out of here and it was fine. So we know that the system was primed. And then what he did was we, ch we took the hose off, the return line off of the fuel injection pump and was not getting any fuel flow out of there. So now that's what we're in the process of doing is going to swap out. The what is that piece called you're swapping it's out? It's a shut-off solenoid. The shut-off solenoid is what we're going to swap out now. So this is the one I had, extra one. Yeah. This one right here is all, it just doesn't seem right. It may, it may this may not fix it, but we'll see. Worth a shot. Yeah, I believe it will. I've got total 100% faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you charge yourself an hour. Well, myself? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, My wife, though, a different story. Yeah, that's right. Man, that thing's hot. Yeah. Put 
this note on there first. That's what the inside of it looks like. He'll get all the parts assembled back to the, the top and we will uh, get it put back together and hopefully that solves our problem. Fingers crossed. I'm just gonna hook this uh, wire up real quick. See if it clicks on and off? Yeah. Yeah, it works. It clicked all the way on? Yep. All right, good deal. I've done this more times than I've wanted. <laughs> Walmart parking lots. Listen, you get proficient at it, and that might, <laughs> that's either good or bad, right? That's right. Let's see, that's supposed to. What you gotta do, Judge? I gotta flip this arm around. I'll put it on backwards. Cooler in here. Yeah, it is, ain't it? Yep. So when you rebuild these things, you're supposed to get a new one that works, and we suspect <laughs> that the one that they replaced doesn't work. So luckily, he had one in the, in his truck. Which is what's the chances of that? <laughs> Somebody that's had this problem before. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Man. Crescent, <laughs> Crescent hammer. Get these little plastic insulators off of here. There's probably going to be a real IDI mechanic on our yeah, I'll show. Let the They're going to be hollering at me. That's alright. If it works, they won't. <laughs> all right. Let's see. This thing's got to turn around. Let me get my needle nose pliers. There you go. Much gooder, as they say. Yeah. Mo better. Mo better. All right. One more again. <laughs> Thank God I got air conditioner. Man, that breeze coming through the air feels great. Uh -oh. <laughs> My luck. Your big old hands. It's hard to do those little <laughs> nuts and bolts, ain't it? Well, you make do. You learn little yeah. tricks. Get it quick now. Yeah, it's easier the third or fourth time. I'm going to do a test again. All right. Make sure everything's correct. You got to work on diesel, by the way. I know a little bit about diesel. Not much, but I'm willing to learn. <laughs> I need help all the time. This right here 
better solve the problem, Peggy. Hopefully. And it's giving it a chance to cool off if nothing else. Yeah. My wife, why don't you sell that thing? You're always working on it. Yeah, yeah, man, this thing's nice. <laughs> yeah. I love this truck. I'll get it, all the bugs worked out of it one of these days. I uh, traded in my other truck and got my wife a new car. Oh, yeah. So this is my daily <laughs> now. Unless it breaks down, then she's going to be without a vehicle again. <laughs> She's gonna be watching this too. <laughs> I love you, honey. Right? Yeah, I love you, baby. I'm just joking. I do with that little. There you go. Almost done. It's gonna fire right up. I can feel it. You're about to have you a flat fire. Ooh. Oh Lord, that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it would not have been good. Oh. All right, moment of truth. Uh, what do you think? I'm glad I got to ride home now. Listen. <laughs> You're 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 batting one, you're batting 500. You still got to crank up a dozer over there. Well, it got a rope. We can pull start it. <laughs> All right, so we got that one fixed. Or I should say, Sean got that one fixed. That was good too. We're gonna have a chance. We're gonna get this out of the way, and we're actually gonna get. There's an orange excavator sitting out over there, if you can see it from here, but we're going to get that and we're going to pull up the bucket on the Fiat Alice crawler loader that we got. So make sure you watch that video as well. Man, that was pretty cool. You learned, you seeing that the arm was backwards and all that. So yeah. I'm glad you have one in your truck. Yeah, me too. I try to keep little extra parts. You drive an older <laughs> truck, you got to do that. Yeah, you that's know, right. You know when something's going to happen. Yeah. Right? Hey, check out Josie on Facebook, at Josie Repair. I'll put the link on the bottom of the screen so you can see it south alabama north of florida please do leave me a comment let me know you're there yeah there you yeah. go so you guys thanks for watching we appreciate you god bless thanks